All right, buckle up everyone, because today we are diving deep into a brand new cosmic mystery. We're talking about a radio signal from space and get this, it repeats almost every hour. Hourly signals from space, that's fascinating. All right, it's wild. We've got some journal excerpts and news articles hot off the press. And uh, well, let's just say they're raising more questions than answers. Well, that's what makes it a mystery, right? I'm ready, let's unpack it. Okay, so first things first, this signal was picked up by the Square Kilometer Array. It's also called the SKA. Have you heard of it? Of course. The SKA is this massive next generation radio telescope. It's still being built, actually, spread across Australia and South Africa. Yeah. And even before it's fully operational, it's already making these groundbreaking discoveries. That's how powerful it is. The SKA is going to completely revolutionize radio astronomy. Just you wait. This is just the beginning. Okay. So let's break down the signal itself. It repeats roughly every 53 minutes which is so interesting because it's close to an hour, you know, but not exactly 60 minutes. What's the significance of that? That 53 minute period, it's a huge e clue. Yeah. For one thing, it doesn't match up with any known signals coming from Earth. It doesn't line up with our planet's rotation either. So we can rule out interference like someone's microwave oven or a satellite or something. Exactly. This signal is coming from deep space. That's why we're so excited about it. Wow. Okay, now you said earlier that this signal has a distinct structure. What does that actually look like? Well, think of it this way. Astronomers have found three different modes within the signal. Wait, so it's not just a constant stream of radio waves? Nope, not at all. There are these periods of silence. Then you get these powerful bursts that can last anywhere from 10 to 50 seconds. Okay, wow. So silence, then boom these bursts. Yeah. And then on top of that, there are these super short flashes, less than a second long, kind of sprinkled in. So we've got silence, these longer, powerful bursts, and then quick little flashes. You got it. And it's this whole combination that is throwing scientists for a loop because it doesn't really match anything we've seen before. It's like the universe is speaking in code and we're just trying to figure out what it's saying. Okay. So does this weird signal match any known cosmic radio sources? Well, that's the million dollar question, isn't it? And so far, the answer is no. This doesn't fit neatly with the usual suspects. It's something different. Okay. All right. Well, then let's put on our detective hats. What are some of the prime suspects we should consider? Okay. Well, one possibility is a pulsar. Those are those, uh, what are they again? Pulsars are these super dense leftovers of massive stars that have gone supernova. We call them neutron stars. Right. And they spin really fast. Right? Yeah. They spin incredibly fast. And as they spin, they send out beams of radiation and we detect those as pulses. So could a pulsar be spinning slowly enough to create this hour-long signal? Or is that just not possible? It would be pretty unusual. I mean, pulsars do slow down over time, but to have a period of almost an hour, that would mean it's lost like almost all of its energy, which would make it super faint, hard to detect. It's not impossible, but really unlikely. Yeah, it would seriously challenge our current understanding of pulsar evolution. Okay, so maybe a pulsar but one that's acting pretty strange. Hmm. What else could be causing these hourly signals? Hmm. Well, another candidate is a magnetar. A what are? A magnetar. Think of it like a neutron star, but with a magnetic field turned up to a million. Trillions of times stronger than Earth's magnetic field. Well, okay. Strong magnetic fields. Yeah. And magnetars are known for these crazy, unpredictable bursts of energy. So could a magnetar be behind this? A slowly spinning one? with a super strong magnetic field. It's definitely a possibility, but we have to be honest, magnetars are known for chaotic bursts, not for these precise regular signals like we're seeing. So it'd have to be a magnetar behaving a little differently than we expect. Yeah, there are some inconsistencies. We need to figure those out. Got it. Okay, so what other suspects are on our list? Let's think about another type of stellar remnant, a white dwarf. Okay, so those are like, what happens to smaller stars, right? right? Like our sun, after they run out of fuel. Exactly. They're not as dense as neutron stars, but they can still be incredibly powerful. And they spin, right. So could a white dwarf spin, maybe with the strong magnetic field, be creating this signal every hour? It's a good thought. It's possible in theory. But the white dwarf radio sources we've seen before, they don't really match this pattern. Hmm. So maybe. A type of white dwarf we've never encountered before. It seems like we keep coming back to this idea of something completely new. And that's what makes this discovery so exciting. It could be something we know, but with a unique twist. 
or it could be something totally revolutionary. I have to ask, with these unexplained signals from space, people are going to wonder about aliens, right? Of course, that's always a fun thought, the possibility of aliens. But as of now, we haven't found any evidence to support that idea. No patterns or encoded information in the signal that would su suggest, you know, an intelligent source. So no alien messages just yet. But there's still a chance the signal is from something totally new, right? Absolutely. I mean, think about the history of astronomy. Full of unexpected discoveries, things like pulsars, quasars, fast radio bursts. All of those seemed impossible until we found them. This new signal could be our next big leap forward. Okay, so we've got our potential suspects, some familiar faces, maybe acting strangely, and then the chance of something totally new. What happens now? How do scientists actually go about investigating a signal this bizarre? It's all about gathering data. Astronomers around the world are going to point their telescopes at this patch of sky and hope to catch more of these bursts. Like a global scientific team all working together, what are they hoping to learn? everything. We're talking the shape of each burst, how long it lasts, what frequencies are involved, even something called the polarization of the radio waves. Polarization? What's that? It tells us about the magnetic field surrounding the source. Ah, so it's like building a fingerprint for this mystery object. You got it. And then as they get more bursts, they'll be looking for any changes over time. Like, do they vary in intensity? Do they happen at slightly different times? So it's not just catching the signal. It's about how it changes, too. Interesting. Are there any other avenues to look at? Oh, absolutely. One of the big questions is whether there are any other signals happening at the same time as these radio bursts. Like, are there x-rays, infrared light, visible light? Finding those would be super helpful. So it's like piecing together a puzzle, using every piece of information to get a complete picture. Exactly. And that's what makes this so exciting. The more we learn, the more intriguing this mystery becomes. You know, this whole process of investigating this signal, it really reminds me of some of the most exciting discoveries in the history of radio astronomy. There have been so many times when astronomers found these signals that seemed totally baffling at first. Oh, I bet. Like, every new signal is this challenge, pushing us to expand our understanding of the universe. Didn't they used to think that pulsars were alien beacons? That's right. Back in the 1960s, when they first found pulsars, their pulses were so regular that some scientists really did think they might be picking up signals from an extraterrestrial civilization. Wow, can you imagine the excitement, the mystery? What did those first pulses sound like? Imagine this steady, rhythmic beat, almost like a, like a cosmic clock ticking away. Super precise. It was unlike anything they had ever heard before. No wonder they thought it could be aliens. I even read somewhere that they nicknamed the first pulsar signal LGM-1. What did that stand for? Little green men. <laughs> I know, right? It's funny to think about now, but it really shows that sense of wonder, that feeling of the unknown that always comes with these big discoveries. Of course, they studied the signal more and more, and they figured out it was coming from a rapidly rotating neutron star, a pulsar. So a natural phenomenon, but one that completely changed how we understand these super dense stellar remnants. Yeah. It's crazy how what seems like science fiction one day can be textbook science the next. Mm -hmm. Are there any other examples of weird signals that turned out to be something amazing? Oh, absolutely. There's the story of cosmic masers, for example. Early days of radio astronomy, scientists were puzzled by these radio emissions coming from space. They were super narrow band, which was strange. Narrow band? Yeah, they were focused on a very specific frequency. It almost seemed artificial because most natural processes produce a wide range of frequencies. But these signals were super focused. Interesting. So what were they? It turns out they were like naturally occurring amplifiers in space. We call them masers. It stands for microwave amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Basically, it's molecules like hydroxyl and water vapor acting like cosmic lasers. So nature was basically creating its own technology. It's mind-blowing. What other natural wonders are hiding out there? That's the question, isn't it? And sometimes the explanations are a bit more down to earth. Wait, are you talking about the microwave oven story? Well, you know it. It's a classic. It happened at the Parkes Observatory in Australia. These astronomers kept finding these weird short radio signals, and they were convinced it was something from deep space. And what was it? A microwave oven in the break room. No way. Someone kept opening the door before the timer finished, and the microwaves were messing at the telescope. That's hilarious. <laughs> it just shows that even when you're searching for these cosmic truths, sometimes the answer is right there in front of you. But it also shows how important it is to be super careful and rule out all the possible sources of interference. Couldn't agree more.
Okay, so back to our hourly signal. What's the big takeaway from all these stories, these historical parallels? I think it's about keeping an open mind. When we find something unexpected, something that challenges what we think we know, we shouldn't just dismiss it, you know? We should be curious, investigate it thoroughly, and be open to the possibility that we might be on the verge of a huge breakthrough. That's a great point. So let's zoom back in on our mystery signal. Hmm. Why does this discovery even matter? What are the implications if it really is something totally new? Think about it. This signal has the potential to completely change how we understand astrophysics. It could give us insights into how stars live and die, the extreme conditions out there in the universe, maybe even weird states of matter that we can only dream of creating in a lab. It's like getting a sneak peek into a part of the universe we've never seen before. Exactly. It's what makes astronomy so captivating, right? The universe is vast and full of surprises, and every new discovery, like this hourly signal, brings us a step closer to understanding our place within it. It reminds us that we're still just scratching the surface of what's out there. I love that. That sense of awe, that wonder that astronomy inspires. Mm. So zooming out a bit, how does this discovery fit into the bigger picture? Like, what are astronomers ultimately trying to achieve? I think it shows how important it is to invest in these huge scientific projects like the SKA. Hmm. We're already making these incredible discoveries before it's even fully operational. Imagine what we'll find when it's at full power. It also shows how science brings people together. Researchers from all over the world pooling their knowledge and resources, working together to understand the cosmos. And it's not just about understanding the universe out there, right? Hmm. These discoveries can teach us about physics here on Earth, too. You got it. By studying extreme environments, like neutron stars and magnetars, we can learn about matter under these incredible pressures and densities that we could never replicate in a lab. It pushes the boundaries of what we know and could lead to all sorts of new technologies we haven't even imagined yet. For example, we wouldn't know nearly as much about nuclear physics if we hadn't studied the processes happening inside stars. So this isn't just some abstract pursuit of knowledge. It's about expanding our understanding of the universe and potentially creating new technologies that could benefit everyone. Exactly. And this signal is a reminder that the search for knowledge never really ends. Every step we take, every mystery we solve, opens up new paths to explore. It's about expanding our horizons and inspiring future generations to look up at the sky and wonder what else is out there. That's beautiful. But before we get too philosophical here, what are the next steps in this investigation I need to know? Well, it's still early days. Scientists will be collecting as much data as they can on this signal. They'll be studying it over time, looking for any clues that could reveal its source, and they'll be keeping their eyes peeled for any similar signals from other parts of the sky. It's like they've opened a new chapter in a cosmic story, and we're all waiting to see what happens next. Any predictions about what we might learn in the coming months or years? Hard to say for sure, but here are a few possibilities. One scenario is that we get more data and confirm that the source is something we already know about, like a magnetar or a white dwarf, but with some unique characteristics we haven't seen before. So not a brand new type of object, but like a variation. Yeah, exactly. It could be a magnetar that spins really slowly but still manages to produce these strong bursts. Or it could be a white dwarf that's part of a binary system with another star that's influencing it somehow. Okay, that's one possibility. What else? The more exciting possibility, of course, is that this signal really is something completely new. Something we've never even thought of before. Something that forces us to rewrite the textbooks. It would be a total game changer for astrophysics. But even if it ends up being something we already know about, the fact that we're even detecting these signals is amazing. It tells us there's so much more out there that we don't understand. It's a good reminder that the universe is full of mysteries, and we're just starting to uncover them. It really is an exciting time for astronomy. Mm -hmm. This whole deep dive has been incredible. All this information, all these possibilities. It's clear that this investigation is just getting started, and who knows what amazing things it might reveal about the universe we live in. Astronomy is in such a thrilling era right now. I think this discovery, no matter where it leads us, tells us something really profound about where we fit in in the grand scheme of the cosmos. It's a reminder that we live in this massive universe, everything's interconnected, and we're always pushing, always trying to understand more and more. Every signal we find, every discovery we make, it expands our understanding of the universe, but also of ourselves, you know? Yeah, I love that. It's like each new piece of information we find, it's like adding another thread to this intricate tapestry, the universe.
And the more we learn, the more we realize just how much more there is to learn. Exactly. And it's a picture that's always changing, always evolving. Every new discovery helps us refine our understanding and sometimes we even got to throw out old ideas and embrace new ones. That's the beauty of science, always moving forward, constantly learning and questioning and exploring what we don't know. That's what makes it so exciting. We're not just sitting back and watching the universe. We're trying to figure it out. You know, yeah. it's like we're part of this cosmic conversation and every new signal is a message waiting to be decoded. I like that. A cosmic conversation. And this conversation, this understanding, it can change so much. Not just our scientific knowledge, but our technology, our philosophy, even our art. Think about how when we discovered other galaxies, it totally changed how we see our place in the universe. Right. Or those incredible images from the Hubble Space Telescope. They've inspired so many artists and musicians and writers. Mm. It's amazing how science and art, which people sometimes see as separate things, are really connected deep down. They both come from that same human curiosity that need to make sense of the world. I couldn't agree more. And this new signal, this hourly signal, however it turns out, it just shows that human spirit of exploration, that drive to understand, discover, to push the boundaries of what we know, is part of what makes us human. I feel like this deep dive has really shown that. I can't help but feel this sense of wonder, this excitement. What if this really is something totally new? What if it unlocks this whole new understanding of the universe? It's a pretty amazing thought, right? The idea that we might be right on the edge of a huge scientific revolution. And even if it turns out to be a variation of something we already know, the fact that we're even detecting these signals is incredible. It's a testament to human ingenuity, our ability to figure out these cosmic mysteries. It's humbling too, isn't it? The universe is always there, reminding us how vast and complex it is. And yet, it also inspires us. It makes us want to keep searching, keep asking questions, keep pushing those limits. I couldn't have said it better myself. This quest for knowledge, it's a journey that never ends. And we're not just doing it for ourselves, but for the generations that come after us. Every discovery leads to new discoveries, and that's what makes it so rewarding. You've put it perfectly. This is what makes this whole deep dive and astronomy in general so fascinating. It's not just about the facts, it's about that sense of wonder, that drive to learn, that realization that we're all part of something so much bigger than ourselves. As we keep exploring, who knows what other mysteries we'll uncover, what wonders we'll find, what questions we'll be inspired to ask. That's the beauty of it all. It's about the journey, just as much as it is about the destination. So to our listener, as we leave you to ponder this cosmic signal and all it might mean, we hope you'll hold on to that sense of curiosity. Look up at the stars. Remember that we're all part of this incredible dance of the cosmos. And never forget that there's always more to discover out there. Until next time, keep exploring, keep asking questions, and never lose that sense of wonder.